So, just another quick video about VSLGD 2021 uh, and a new feature that has been added to the latest release, which is release 6017 at the time of filming. So, what is this new feature? Well, it's actually easy pad reassigning for controllers. So, a lot of controllers have these eight pads that looks like these eight buttons here, and then it has a few pad selector buttons that picks uh, some of the pad pages, uh, and by default, for instance, on the controller that's connected right now, my, uh, it's my DDD400. So that first one button that I click now is uh, Hot Gears, which was already selected. Then it's Loop, then it's Beat Jump, and then it's the Sampler. So that's pretty common. Um, but a new thing is now that uh, when I go into the drop down here, at the very top, you can see it now knows I have connected the DDD400. But it also has this little section where you can see what each of these selector buttons currently do. So right now, uh, we, we saw the ones that are just the regular ones, one, two, three, four. There are, of course, also the shift ones. So here you can actually change what they do without, without having to remap the controller in the mapping section. So if I go into beat jump, for instance, here, and say, well, don't use that too much. So I think I'll instead pick the news stems, because that's kind of interesting. So let's pick that. And now it's a hot cues, but if I press the third button down here, the one that usually does beat jump, it it instead if it enables stems on my on my pads. So that's a great new feature and a very easy way to get the new pad page and new functionality on your pads. There's a little cave cut though because some controllers uh, have some more hardwired kind of functionality on their pad section. So the the DTJ 400 was just totally reassignable, like you saw, uh, which is most of them. But if I, for instance, disconnect that, and then I connect my DTJ SR, a pretty old controller, instead, like that, and wait for a few seconds for it to be detected. Like that. Uh, you can see it's, it kind of looks the same, but when I press the drop down here, I just get this little thing. So what happened? Uh, not only are two of the pad pages not reassignable, I also can't pick anything down here. It's just stuck on hot cues. So if I'm in the middle of my mix and I wanna pick a pad page that I don't usually use, I can't get to it. Why is that? Well, that's actually because the DDJSR has a little second called the pad plus section that does extra things. I don't even recall what they do, but they can. And uh, because of that, which is uh, usable for hot cues and sampler, then uh, they have become locked in virtual DJ. So that's why I can't pick new ones for these two slots. So what about the drop down well uh, down here? Why, why is that empty? Why does it only have the current one? Well, the thing is that when you pick something here, it doesn't just pick it. It actually puts it into your currently selected slot. And since my currently selected slot right now is hot cues, then I can't pick anything but because hot cues can only do hot cues because, uh, because of the hard wiring. So, uh, so that's why I can't select another pad page and put it into this, uh, this slot. So if I uh, instead click the second selector button on the SR, which is loop roll, I of course get a loop roll right now, but I also get the full drop down here. So of course still can't select anything else for these two, but I can select for the other ones and I get the full drop down. It's not locked anymore. So that means I have to remember uh, if I want to pick something else uh, while I'm mixing that I can't be on the hot cue pad page. Well, I don't really like that. So I've done a little trick. So I've actually created a, uh, a second hot cues pad page, which is exactly like the regular hot cues pad page. It just has a, has a different name on it. And then I map that to the selector button. So that means now if I click my Hot cues select a button on my DTDISR after I re remap it. It picks the hot cues too. That that means that the pad uh, pad plus section on my controller just doesn't do anything. But it also means that now even though I'm in this slot, I can still pick any other uh, pad page down here that I just want to be able to trigger temporarily. So that's a little trick if you happen to be on a on a, a controller with which are, par uh, are partly locked on the patch section uh, and you don't want that, then you can do this little trick. But uh, as far as I can tell, that's very few controllers. So you probably won't, won't bump into this little cave cat on your controller.